Yes. Let's get this. Well, it's going to probably take me a little while more before mine kicks in. What do you see on your a, screen? Yeah, no, I have a, mine is so delayed. I don't have nothing. Oh, yeah. I still got the um, trailer on there. Oh, is it doing a countdown? <clears throat> the countdown. Yeah, to the live. Okay, okay. We'll do that. No, is it doing? Uh, is it what you're seeing? A uh, countdown? No, it's the it's the it's the five hundred trailer. No. Oh, look, Steven's on. Welcome, Steven. What's up, Steven? No, it's live. We're about a minute in now. Okay. Now I got it. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Now I see him. Welcome, Steve. So just a little housekeeping for anybody on the stream that's watching the stream back. Uh, in the replays, this is our weekly live stream for... HW50, where we record our videos and take your comments in on those videos at yep. the same time. So if you're, now you can do it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we always could have just not with mobile devices because of the restrictions on um, mobile device live streaming on YouTube. Now. In case you want to put up really stupid, gross, illegal, disgusting, perverted, and yeah, a lot of mortifying stuff. A few people I did live stream while they were doing mass killings, so that's why they restricted them. They what? Yeah, there was a few people doing live streams while they were doing mass shootings, so oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. why. That's not what we do here. We we destroy Hot Wheels. Um, we crack open Hot Wheels, but we don't. We do massive shredding. Massive shredding is what we do here. Yeah, we do massive shredding. We do mass shredding of Hot Wheel cars. That's what we do here. Yeah. And we do mass shredding of Grail. We do mass shredding of premiums. That's that's what we do here. So until that turns illegal, uh, we don't get do them. <laughs> but until then, jeez, how long does my stuff take to kick in, man? I can't see nobody. Well, there's only one, uh, only one in the chat right now. There's Steve. Oh, never mind. Because you know why? I never click on the screen. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Steven said he heard that some some killed themselves on live streams also. I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, but I remember the, I saw this thing a while back. Uh, this was like a long time ago, and um, there was like I think when, this is when MySpace was hot, and um, at some company, they I don't know if it was a hey, joke County. Or, fake or what, but they said that if you wanted to kill yourself. They would come over and film it. Oh, yeah. And so they, they put up some people, like, killing themselves, but they don't know if that was fake or what, but they got pulled off. And I don't know what happened yeah. after that, but you know how everybody put pranks, huh? Yeah. But, like, they showed guys, like, the guy was talking. He was sitting in his room and had plastic everywhere. And I'm thinking, if you blow yourself away, you're going to be worried about splattering your brains all over the place. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you're at a point where you don't care, right? Yeah, yeah. So, but that's what it was looking like. So I was just like, so. Which is it's odd. Be real, but I don't like watch them in the sense it was. So I just was like, eh, turned it off. And then after it was on one of those crazy ass sites, you know, the the, the ones that show all that stupid stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm pretty sure that the restriction on live streaming to mobile was was because of the the people that were doing live streaming, and then they were. Uh, killing people, so yeah. Honestly, I just before all of that, never have your phone. Your phone couldn't do that at the time. I get, but guys was using one camera for doing. Yeah, I was just responding to um, Stephen because oh. there's there's no way to um, to well, you can always just live streaming was never one hundred percent restricted. You could still do. Uh, live streaming from your computer, your desktop, your laptop, uh, or through a streaming service like StreamYard, or um, there's other smaller ones like that. But the thing was, 
<clears throat> it was meant for the guys that were out and using their mobile device and doing bad stuff with it because you could yeah, still go home just, and yeah. shoot yourself you know in front of your computer on a live stream it just takes one person to screw it up for everybody or well multiple times so yeah and they have you know yeah it's kind of like hey look it's a Datsun 510 there's 20 of them I'm yeah. the only one here I'll take them all <laughs> 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 and then the rest of the guys come. So what did left? Ah, uh, no more nothing. No more nothing. Hey guys, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, so I got a lot of towels. So if you're if you're on the live stream, you're watching the live stream back. We're just killing time for the chat room to fill up before we start uh, doing everything. Uh, Evan's in the room too. What's up, What's up Evan? Kiona? What's up, Keone? Hey, Keone, what happened last time? You fell asleep, huh? <laughs> <laughs> He was talking little one and we never hear from you for a while. Usually <laughs> you say Allah, so I figured you fell asleep. <laughs> I know yeah. Evan did. Evan was like, oh, dude, I fell asleep. <laughs> yep, see, I crashed out last time. <laughs> so it, I hope it wasn't because we was boring, bro. That would really suck. <laughs> yeah. I hope you was tired. <laughs> well, sometimes the in-betweens are, are really slow, especially because I was fidgeting with your camera for a long time. Oh, maybe that's what Tony fell asleep. Yeah. So for the guys in the chat, um, these are the three cards we're going to open tonight. And um, stay tuned. Got you, Tony. <laughs> yeah, we know. We know he's tired, but it's all good, but uh... Oh, John, did you see that uh, comment? Some guy put up a comment. Oh, I forgot which one. I was answering everybody's stuff. It said, um, oh... Those suck. And the guy said, oh, not you guys' videos, the, the cards or something like that. Oh. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> he goes, oh, but not, not you guys' videos, the car or something like that. I was like, oh, I yeah. forget who that was. I saw um, Weapon X wrote something about um, you guys can keep those, and that was the um, uh, the Finder's Keepers ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think, remember that comment we were talking about before uh, the live uh, about the, um, uh, Mike Dyson's comment. Uh, I think it was those um, finders keepers that he said throw in a box with the... I owe him a super. I just want to put that out there. Mike, I oh, haven't okay. forgotten. I, I do owe you a super. Uh, Evan said, I told my grandma she didn't need to read me a bedtime story. I told her two guys on YouTube are talking about Hot Wheels. <laughs> Tony said, what's up with Hot Wheels? RLC doing everything pink lately. Too much pink already. Tony, pink is always good. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Uh, we got to be careful because can I do too much inside jokes. Or innuendos. Yeah, because... Uh, we do have... We get cakey, so... Yeah. <laughs> I think he, Keone kids will be talking about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Keone, I, I, I agree. I saw the RLC notice about the pink uh, Nova going up on Tuesday. And all I could think to myself was, that is now three pink cars for 2021. Yeah. Yeah. That's I okay. mean, I'm not complaining. But as long as chrome pink, I'm all good, bro. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. It's actually it look kind of looks like the pink that the that seventy boss three hundred two is. Yeah, you just put a pink Mustang, yeah. Gasser, Drag Bus, Impala, Nova. <clears throat> I'm waiting for that that chrome pink six seven. That's what I'm waiting for. Man, they better not put those ugly rims on though. Oh God. Wait, that didn't they? Outlawed. Didn't they already have a chrome pink six seven, or is that a six eight? Not in, not in, um, not in a ROC. It was a convention car. Yeah, it was a convention car. Yeah, it was a six seven. Oh. I know they had the couple six eights, and then, but not not in chrome pink. Uh, obviously, can I get that gas already? Unless you like go sell your house. <laughs> You know, so I was like, oh, okay, whatever. Gasser's going to be out. Um, 
I wondering what the Nova looked like. Is it a what year Nova is that? Did it say? Um, it is the '66, I think. Oh, the square back ones. Those are nice. It's the same Ooh. body as the one that is the Tootsie Roll. Ah, okay. I hope they put nice rims. Is it a gasser? It is. It is. Oh, okay, good. They're not going to have that neo, neo Nazi, whatever, ugly rims. Oh, yeah, they don't put that on gasers. Yeah, good, because that is really nasty rims. But it's like, if you want to go make a retro light that's not going to sell, that's fine. But you make the H dub light, that's going to sell, guaranteed, bro. It's going to be expensive, but going to sell. <laughs> that's the only thing. Steven said a uh, pink pony came out a while ago. Uh, Steven said, find this keeper's bone shaker, please, if found. So Steven is looking for a bone shaker to find this keeper's one. Oh, yeah. You know what, you know what I found? Cool. Remember, remember a while back they had that, um, they had the, uh, what's his name? Uh, Larry. Larry. The hell's the guy's name? There's the gasser. Uh, what's the, the guy's name? The designer, Larry. Larry Wood. Larry Wood, I mean, yeah. he had that, that, that special that Walmart was putting out. Yeah. <clears throat> so he had that gold, that gold uh, bone shaker, yeah? Yeah. So, uh, um, You see the gas on your screen. Yeah, one of our friends gave us the bone, gave me the bone shaker. And I was just curious. Remember I told you what I did? So the bone shaker itself was like a flat gold, like a satin flat gold, yeah? And so... So was the pipes. So I I cleared the pipes. I cleared the skull, the front end with a skull stand, and I cleared the, the the gas tank. When I when I cleared it, the thing came out chrome looking gold. So I thought, holy crap! If I try this on the body, I want it going to work. So I cleared the body, but the body stayed satin. It's just with gloss on it. So whatever that paint they used on the piping. If they were to paint a car with that and you was to clear it, it would come out it would come out looking like chrome gold. Wow. So I gotta show I, I gotta go find that and go bring them on so we can show everybody. Yeah. It's I was shocked when that happened. I was just like, eh, why not just try them? So I'll try I figure it's it's still cheap enough if I screw it up, I can go buy one not one, you know what I mean? But I figured, eh, I try them. Came out good and I was like blown away like Wow, this is nice. Yeah. So you know, if I do a good wheel swap, be cherry. But but yeah, it's that Larry Wood one, uh, that one special edition one that had that whole set, and everybody was chasing the the gold bone shaker. That's the one guys was uh, hoarding, I think. Yeah, I think I have that one. Yeah, I remember seeing it when we were pulling out the thread cases, uh, thread holders last week. Yeah. Oh, look here, they made, they made a pink chrome skyline. I'm all for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if they did, that would be... That would break the internet. Yeah. No, it would break the internet. It was a pink skyline, and they only had 4,000 made. <laughs> we get beef. <laughs> okay, let's start what? off... Uh, how do we with this one? This is a convention car, I believe. It's part of the convention car uh, subscription. Yeah, looking at it, I'm like, I cannot see him get out of plastic, but it looks like it's like a Spectra Flame green or something, or a chrome green. Uh, I don't know. It looks red. Ooh, excuse me. It looks red? I don't know. Let me try and open it up. It looks great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's bust this open. I'm curious. So is that is that one of the Grail lines? Yeah. So this is the 34th Hot Wheels convention in Los Angeles. Oh, this was uh, 2020. Last year. Ah. Yeah. So this is the Make a Wish um, convention car. Is it numbered? Uh, just look. No, there isn't. Yeah, I don't think they're probably going to do that. they got to sell planning to help people out. 
Yeah, so we're um, opening the Make-A-Wish um, convention car, I guess. Looks like a vet. Looks like a maybe a six five vet. <laughs> it looks like avocado green. Keone says. Yeah. Or you know either either the avocado the olive or the antifreeze. It definitely is not antifreeze. That for sure. Steven wants the whole set for the Larry Woods. I know they said was pretty nice the whole set. I think you got the whole set, yeah? Yeah, I did. Yeah. So maybe Steve we should talk. Okay, so there's two antifreeze green, one avocado. Frickin' getting hungry now. Olive, antifreeze. <laughs> green river. <laughs> Get the green river, green river green. From Heights Drive-In. <laughs> yep, they're not there anymore. I know, that sucks, bro. Oh, I used to love the special plate they had. Okay, we're gonna the do fried that. noodles, Terry Beef. Oh, bro, that was weird, man. We're going to do the intro. All right. 34th was annual. Puffin, everybody. Okay, you ready? 34th annual Hot Wheels convention make-a-wish car. What's poppin' everybody? We are busting open this 34th annual Make a Wish Foundation Grail on H Dub 50. All right, so let's do this. Okay, everybody. Uh, if you're watching this on the replay, then or watching the the live stream on the replay, we we are taking comments. Uh, so. If you hear us reading comments, it's it's us interacting with the viewers out there. And if you want to be a part of the stream, we do it once a week, every Saturday. Usually at our time, it's really late, like 8, 9, 10 p.m. At our, in Hawaii time. So it's usually early morning for you if you're on the East Coast and late afternoon if you're in the Orient. So... If you want to be part of the stream, uh, hit the bell, subscribe, and check us out every Saturday. And uh, we'll include you and your comments on our videos. Yep, yep. so if you want to, yeah, yeah, okay, let's open this thing. I'm really I like serious already. I want to see what color it is. Is it, is it antifreeze, avocado, olive, or purple? Or <laughs> purple. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Is okay. that a satin finish? It is. It is a satin green. You are correct. It's avocado. Wow, I didn't even think it was... I didn't even think it was... Uh... 57. Yeah. Actually, this... Five, this looks really five, nice. Oh, uh, shoot. Is it? It's a, it's uh, no, 5.7. Is it 57? Yeah. Whoa. Okay, so it's kind of slippery. It's got a mirrored bottom. But let's see. It shows... Yeah, 57. Wow. Wow, this is probably one of the best Make-A-Wish um, convention cards that I've ever seen. Shit, I, wonder, I bet you if you spray clear on that and that thing turned... Spectroflame green. That would be nuts. What's up, new collector? Just jumping in. Check out the five seven, bro. Yeah, that is nice. Johnny said he digs that. He likes the. It's a simple and clean look. Yeah, true that it is. Yeah. Sometimes if it's just simple and clean, it looks a lot better than outrageous and gaudy. And even though I like outrageous shit, but you gotta know how for how for do them. Otherwise. Doing too much, then. Yeah. yeah, so they they managed to do the headlights. They they kind of lightly, I don't know. No, they didn't get the tail lights, but kind of looks like they they did. The tampos look good. It is pretty simple. This will look good next to that um that gasser, the flying tiger one. Yeah, see that one. At least they made that's what rod. That's what. Right there. Yeah. That's what you take cruising on the street, bro. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can take one gasser and flip through that, but gasser look better on the on the on the quarter mile on a track, bro. Yeah. And this is something you can take cruising, bro. Pull yeah. Up next to somebody, you know what I mean? Do a smoke show and then dig out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, new collector. New collector wrote that uh, the wheels are good. Yeah, yeah they look the wheels good. are perfect. I like, the, I like them. I yeah. Mean, is there a white lettering on the tire? I cannot see them. There, there is, but it's only on the rear tire, and I think it's his Goodyear. It's really uh, small. I don't know why they only put them on a bag. I guess because that's the only one you're planning to eat. Oh, Steven just. They put it on both. Steven just said we, or well, we cut out for a little bit on the live stream. Oh, we did. Oh, well, that sucks. Oh, he says we're but, back now. What if there was something super freaking valuable and important that would change the very fabric of time? <laughs> we gotta, we're gonna have to call Flash, bro. Yeah. And you're gonna have to run super fast. <laughs> so I pulled out uh, the. I'm going to put that on the side because I pulled out the other gasser, the flying tiger. I can see it better now. Yeah, that is. Oh, nice. yeah, it's closer to you. <laughs> the tires look glossy, bro. Yeah, they do. Wow. Okay, let's see if I can. I really like, I really like put chrome on that. I mean, I like to see what happens when you paint that clear, bro. Yeah, I guess, uh, that's, yeah, that one is nice, bro. Yeah, what is that? Hot Wheels, Steven said Hot Wheels Tsunami coming. Oh, look at that. These two look really good together. You can tell the difference from the back of the Chevys, huh? Yeah. A 5.5 five and a 5.7, yo. Know? The fish the tail tail. bigger. Yeah. Oh. You know, the, the, the engine compartment is so huge. <coughs> you know what I mean? It's so much room. You, you guys, if they small up, they can actually seat inside into the car. Evan yeah. said he loves the gases. I know he likes gases. Yeah, this one is... This one has to be my favorite um, gasser so far. Get that centered for everyone. Steven said 57 is big, but, you know? Oh, yeah. Which green new collector... The, the, the 57 or the 55? He said that green is insane, but we don't know which one he's talking about. Yeah, I'm going to stretch that it's probably the 55. Because that oh, is yeah. a well, olive he said, he chrome. You cannot go wrong with chrome whatever color. Yeah. I mean, even, I mean, you know, the anything chrome will look good, bro. Oh, yeah. Can make some ugly pea green and you know loud loud green chrome, but I mean that would look nuts. Oh yeah. You can fire hydrant yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and illegal curb red green and bro, all those colors. Oh, you say 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 yeah, five five. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice one, bro. That one, that one disappeared real fast. Oh yeah. I think I picked up two, yeah. I think I sold one. Yeah, you did, yeah. Yeah, new collector that, that, says anything shiny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like that too, huh? Yeah. We, okay, because of the society, I gotta watch what I say. I feel like one of those ditzy people, you go, oh, that's okay, it's not shiny. <laughs> <laughs> I love that too. So, as long as it's flashy and all that, I'm like, wow! <laughs> Squirrel! <Yeah. laughs> so, for, uh, for everyone that stayed this long, thank you for watching the video. Um, throw down in the comments uh, what do you think about the car. Uh, we're gonna, this is the live stream, so we're gonna cut it up and then we'll re upload it uh, with better graphics and some. Uh, but it won't have the live chat, so come back, um, ring the bell so that you know when our live chats are, so you can be part of the live chat. 
and get your comments in on the on our videos. Steven also said that uh, they make that plane. Yeah, it's, they make the plane. The plane came out first, though, and then now they're putting that design on gassers. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, it's a it's a famous, I forgot what it was called. World War II did, Flying yeah, Tigers. Tigers, yeah, the Flying Tigers. Yep. I know they did that, and they did the auto where they put the chink on the plane, the bombers. Oh, yeah, the B 28s. Yeah, and they always had the bomber Betty or whatever. I forget what she was called. Yeah. Yeah. Those translate, I mean, but you got to put them on one. You can't put them on any tank car. You got to put them on the correct car. Yeah. Some things look good on a rod. Some things look good on an import. But you cannot mix them up. Otherwise, you can't go look dumb. Yeah. So a little trivia for Mike Dyson. Um, his house where he lives is right outside of the airport the military base that the Flying Tigers originally flew out of. So ah. this Flying Tiger is near and dear to his heart. Oh, new collector. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'll fight back. What was it? He said, he goes, new collector, like, trade for it. And he goes, fight back exotic. <laughs> and he get the smiley face <laughs> laughing. <laughs> <laughs> the one I owe you why you still give them away wow what is that <laughs> that's funny <laughs> okay so we got the next one coming yeah. up yeah this uh, what is the next this. one I see two different ones you had up there earlier see I like this it comes with a case is that the one where you gotta hold the bottom yeah I hate that. I like I like the ones that have the snap. So, because if you if you miss if you miss judge, you just grab the the case and then everything fall out. Uh, yeah, the this is like the Auto World ones. Yeah. And is that a metal base or a plastic base? Oh, it had a metal base. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. So you should not worry about the tires melting into the plastic or a plastic melting. Oh, you mean um. What the car is sitting on? No, it's a um, mirror bottom. It's not the. It's not plastic. It's. It's like. Um, I don't want to say like reflective foam, but it. That's kind of what it looks like. We're still gonna have some type of foil in there. Oh. Did you get that too? That's nice, that one. Yeah, this is part of the convention cars. I con. Uh, subscription that I have. That looks like the blonde, the, the blonde bomber. No, what was the one we yeah. found? The dirty blonde. Dirty blonde, yeah. The selections car. Do they have a dirty brunette and a dirty red? <laughs> 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 uh, or well, how would that translate to Hawaii? Like if the if the mainland guy was like, hey bro, the name are you five five? The dirty blonde, bro. So what are we going to call ours? It was the Pilar Holly. Would that translate to that? <laughs> you know, I was thinking the same thing, but... <laughs> <laughs> Two guys, same cause. Like, what's the difference on a name, bro? <laughs> <laughs> he said, no dirty Holly. <laughs> New collector. Kailua! <laughs> <laughs> You mean cry, Lua? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, this is going to have to get cut out. <laughs> Steven, said, Steven said dirty naughty. <laughs> <laughs> that's, but, yeah, but that's not a bad word, naughty. That's, don't, don't, have to hear, what, nani? When you don't understand. Yeah. Nani? It, yes, it means what? Yeah, so it's a good, so it's basically the dirty what? <laughs> <laughs> Unless you didn't your daughter that is it you call this it Stephen wins. alright. So what is this the, is this the eighteenth annual one? Uh yeah, eighteenth annual. So the convention it's either the Grails or convention. You know, I have my phone to go look if it was convention or grails and I got distracted, so because we I do have both so this year 
the annual convention had the gold with black top and the nationals yeah. had the black with gold top so I we do have both okay yeah. and we did so open the other one already I, so what year is that 2018 I believe okay yeah 20 April 4 through 8 2018 so this is nationals 2018 annual national convention yeah 2018 2018th annual national collectors convention or oh, just right. annual collectors nationals oh nationals okay I can't see the card is why it's so blurry because you know all seven megabytes yeah, take like four days for you know log in load up <laughs> and come clear for the little tiny wheel for stop speeding alright let's do it right, here we go Three, two, one. Hey, what's poppin', everybody? We are back in the studio right now, and we're gonna be cracking open the 18th annual. What is that? Five, five. Yep, 55. 55 Collectors National Grail Series on H Dub Five O. All right, so yes, we're really gonna open this up. We are that stupid, and we do open stuff up like this. Oh yeah. Because you can't see it too good with the plastic, so. Yeah. So as, you know, we, don't, we don't sell stuff because we actually open it. Oh, wow. Okay, so um, as I'm opening this, I'm just going to let everybody know. If you're watching this on the replay, uh, thank you very much for watching the replay. That's the replay of the live stream. But if you're yes, watching it if you're watching it on the re-upload where, where we make edits and, uh, and clean up the conversation so it's more... Uh, more coherent because we're, we're all over the place with uh with reading comments and talking um don't forget to hit the bell subscribe and be a part of our live our weekly live streams on saturday nights saturday nights hawaii time and it's usually late eight nine ten o'clock at night uh we would really like you to be a part of the live stream you can throw in your comments um we'll film all of our videos for the week during that live stream and then uh, in between we'll talk story and then come back to the to filming our records uh, filming our openings and then uh, come back and watch them again during the week and see what it's like to have live uh, well see what it looks like edited yeah so uh, Steven says uh, we should go to one of these shows yeah definitely we should oh yeah yeah. Whenever they open up the earth. Yeah. Well, it also is when I'm able to now. Because <laughs> I've got two little ones that I'd have to drag along to. So, this um, this year I did get the uh, the copper top. Remember? I got the copper top. Part of their yeah. $10 pull. And um, I think the only one I was missing was the yellow... Uh, T2 from that year, but take a look at this number It's number 398 of 3500 That's a low numbers man. Yeah But if it's not 55, five, it's not 5500. It's not um, It's not one two yeah. three four five. Yeah. yeah, it's not a really low number, you know the numbers to me, the numbers really don't mean much unless it's like the number one, you know. <laughs> well, or unless it has some kind of significance to the car, like you were yeah. born in 1955, or it's the same as the vehicle, yeah. or you know something that has some kind of uh, you know, meaning for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I always get people oh. that they, they they utilize something to that, like, oh, I like pink. Why do you like pink? Oh, because every time I drink, my face turns pink or whatever. <laughs> that's uh that's a weird correlation but sure <laughs> oh why you like green for because every time i every time i drink i bomb it only green come out at because you know i only eat you know squiggle out every time i drink so hey whoa Oh, 
I was just gonna say hi to Charles, and I saw it in the camera rolling away, and I was like, "Whoa!" Oh, oh Charles. <laughs> okay, it's. <laughs> I'm gonna wait to uh, see if that. You know everybody laughing, bro. Oh, yeah. Collecting, you know, you get all the laughing faces, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I said we the only dummies that drop grails over here, bro. Oh yeah. But you know what? The only reason why we show all of our, our drop stuff is because we just keep it live like this. I guarantee you, all these other dudes, bro, huh? They 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 screw up, they mess up, but they just don't put it in. So when you watch their feed, it's nice and clean. There's no such thing as as nobody gonna do mistakes, and there's no one take one. That's rare, bro. Some guys can do, but you know most of the time, yeah, they, they don't like to take. They gotta retake, reshoot, re-edit. Yeah. So you know we just do it with this because it's funny as hell, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, who the hell drops with Grail, bro? Yeah. We do. Who drops supers? We do. You know what I mean? So <laughs> people are like, oh crap, and it's funny to see like you know everybody's like oh not mid now or yeah not mid oh, now half off sale <laughs> <laughs> uh steven said sorry i put the remote on forward sorry do <laughs> 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 listen what the hell four smiley faces that he put i died a little bit <laughs> <laughs> i'm you guys can't see or you might but i'm I'm standing now, and I'm keeping my hand underneath the turntable in case it rolls away again. You know, first oh, we had man. the hover one, and the cars fell off because it either was too heavy or yeah. it well, just wasn't working. It was spinning too this fast. One, this would slide off too. <laughs> yeah, the, the hoverboard was spinning too fast that it would throw yeah. the cars. This <laughs> one goes really slow, but apparently where I'm sitting, I indent on the ground, and now it's tipping towards me. <laughs> Like, yeah, it's it's part of global know. warming. <laughs> yeah, and, and I never mean Earth now. I mean Earth, 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 e -R -T, Earth. Earth. <laughs> yeah, so basically, new collector, speed in. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know, Charles would be like, "What the hell is wrong with these guys? They don't know how to spell Earth." <laughs> not only did I drop the pink Batmobile, not last week, but the week before. I dropped. You dropped it three times, dude. I know it rolled off three times. It's like trying to do the same thing, but expecting a different result. It was kind of insane. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, yeah. This one is. You know, I wish no, I Charles took out the black thing. one. <laughs> I wish I took out the black one. Then uh, we could have looked at them both together. Comparison. Yeah, we can do that on that one. That one, not on. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So Stephen, keeping track, he said three is the record. Three is the. <laughs> you know, we're not gonna try to break that, but if we do, I'm gonna trip. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that I've I've dropped something in, in nearly every video so far. Yeah, and it's not you know you don't even drop mainline, so a lot of mainline seem to be sitting good. I know. <laughs> Only something expensive far out. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be dropped. <laughs> so should... that's got to be, is that that, uh, what is that, chrome yellow? Uh, I think yellow this is more like gold? a gold. Yeah, this one is more gold. Yeah, because it's so shiny and the the glare off the light, it, uh, it goes out of focus every time the glare hits it. Wow. Not bad. What was the what was the, the run? Thirty five hundred. Thirty five hundred. You know nowadays anything under five thousand, anything under ten thousand is low already. I don't think we're gonna see ROCs. Maybe maybe convention, but I don't think ROCs is gonna get lower anymore. I don't think so either. Yeah. Because more and more people. That's why I said watch again. I will say it again here, and I will say it every live. We we'll have to do something, and like we'll probably get some something like a treasure hunt, one super RLC. What they got to, bro? Because people gonna be like, okay, so now if we get fifty thousand guys, they're gonna have to make fifty thousand cars, bro. Yeah. 
So, and then people are going to want something. You know, obviously they did that with Hot Wheels because, you know, their marketing department must have said, you know what, but we get tons of these. We got to do something to get chase. Yeah. You know, so they came up with Treasure Hunt. And guess what? It worked. People went nuts for that. Then once everybody realized how they could find it, you know, because, you know, back then it was green. Yeah. You know, you could find the, the, the treasure hunt because it was green and it said treasure hunt. So that was real easy to spot. Yeah, then, then on the packaging, the, right? Yeah, the flame. <clears throat> and then now they just do the super with the flame. But, you know, you, you actually got to look at the car this time. So they made it a little bit more difficult. But I think they should start doing something like that because anything after 20000 I mean, that's a lot. People will buy it, but. Yeah. As far as collectability, I but, don't know how that's But going. in all honesty, it's not 20,000 unique members. It's it's yeah. people like me. I have three accounts. And that's yeah, well, because... You, I'm I, pretty sure you guys get more than you. Uh, and yeah. Well, you know I mean? they you, acknowledge right. it now that you can only have... I thought I think it's either 5 or 10 per household now. Yeah. Well, but there's sure still that, a lot. That, that is. That's why I was wondering, like, how can guys, when you see how much they sold, like, how did they get so much? You know what I mean? But, oh well. Yeah. Uh, boss one, good thing you're kids, not Hot Wheel Grails. Look, <laughs> <laughs> like collector said, I gotta buy one, of, I gotta buy one, uh, one of these one day. It's a little bit better than a main line. Oh yeah, way better. Yeah, it is. That's right, Steven. Super ROC treasure hunt right here, bro. When it comes out, everybody's going to be like, hey. And we're going to be like, you guys, we settled first. <laughs> <laughs> so what are they going to uh, use as a unique marker for the yes. Super RLC treasure hunt? Because they already have the so, flame. They already have the TH. So let's go trademark the Super ROC. Let's go trademark the treasure hunt. <laughs> 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 so they make them all. Oh! We got all those guys at each dub five oh how much money? <laughs> <laughs> well they said they won't sue us if we just give them stuff. Alright, just give them whatever they want. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's never gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, of course that's never gonna happen. It's only a dream. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be like, who are those guys again? Yeah, just bury them, bro. Okay. Uh call up YouTube. Tell them to go donate like about a couple billion. They're going to just kick those guys off. <laughs> <laughs> we like advertise on your channel. You got to kick off these guys. Sure, no problem. Yeah. Uh, well, let's close, out this, uh, let's close out this video. So uh, for everyone that stayed this long, thank you for staying. And if you want to be part of the live stream, don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe. We do this every... We do the live stream every Saturday. Uh, sometimes it might move to Sunday depending on um, depending on how things are going here, uh, either between me or boss too. Uh, sometimes we move them to another day, uh, just out of convenience. <clears throat> and uh, oh. don't forget to come at. Yeah. So you guys know what you guys got to do, right? So we got more stuff coming up. So stick around. Watch for notices. We out. Aloha. I think uh, Keone fell asleep again. <laughs> and I think uh, uh, Evan fell asleep too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and we're only 43 minutes in this time. <laughs> Man, I hope it didn't damage this one. <laughs> you gotta leave that in, that's funny. <laughs> that, that totally face planted right on the Kia. <laughs> The Kia got smashed like that. <laughs> uh, they said, I like that flat black on top. Oh, was it flat black? I couldn't tell. Oh, the rooftop. Yeah, I think it's a felt. It's a flat black. Oh, Evan said, in and out of being wide awake. <laughs> we thought we lost you, Ev. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, boss one, don't forget, next week is Mama's Day. Oh, yeah. She's getting a uh, 55 gasser. <laughs> <laughs> In a case, 
since I already opened it. <laughs> there you go, honey. <laughs> what is this? I want one Toyota. I wonder one Hachi slam with metal rims. And I want fucking tires. <laughs> a, a new collector, we... <clears throat> um, we still, I didn't forget, we still gotta do our trade. Um, I'm working on my truck this week and probably next week because I gotta get that sold. And after that, we're back uh, cleaning out the garage again where all of my Hot Wheels are stored. So I will have your uh, Japan Historics 2 ready uh, just to. Uh, yes, I got it sitting here on the side. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't look like the thinking. I hope we never drop them. <laughs> well, no, I, I did tell him that uh, I have uh, the five tens um, for this Japan Historics two sets. They were popping the blisters regularly because. Yeah. I think the blister, the blister is too big for the car. Here, let's put that on the side real quick. So, new collector, there you go. That's one. That's two. And that's three. So, the one that's missing, the ones that are missing are the Fair Lady. And the Mazda 3, RX3. So we'll okay, have... Okay, so Nuclear did just say, I still got your boulevards. Everyone asking for them. Well, the drag bus and STI mostly. Nuclear did just said, wow. And you get an extra beat up bus for me, right? <laughs> Who you talking to? Wait, you know my, you know my answer now. <laughs> <laughs> the moon eyes. <laughs> you talking to me or new collector? <laughs> I might, I might, you know, my brother. Oh, okay, cool. All right. So you know he's all stoked that he already saw his stuff. So. Well, at least three of the five. Yeah. Oh, he said he gonna look. Yeah, I, I don't get out. I can't get out anymore to hunt anymore. So. Yeah. After I got injured, but that was it for me, bro. I cannot. I cannot. I can't be doing that already. I get out of time. So it sucks. It used to be good fun because, you know, like hunting is good fun. But what I liked was, you know, when you run into everybody and then you talk story and, you know, you have a good time. And, you know, and, and that's what I like. But, you know, not everybody is like that, you know. Some guys are and then some guys aren't. They're just there to get what they want to get and get out. Yeah. So, but some guys actually go to, for the camaraderie and you know for the of course for the die cast yeah and some guys just there for just grab their stuff and bail you know what i mean yeah. so i know I, I, I know i like to go in and and running into people and talking story yeah that's why i used to like that so i miss doing that because you get to see everybody and say what's up and you know keep in contact with it which is what i like you know what i mean Not, i mean over the phone online is one thing but you know it's good to do them live and see the people Oh, he said, uh, you got to take bosses one on. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no worries. He said, uh, yeah, the aisle buddies are the best. Yeah. yeah. What is aisle Oh, that's an actual site. Oh, okay. You get the hashtag. No, aisle it's, buddies. Yeah. it's, uh, it's the people you talk to in the aisles. Yeah. I just said that you get the hashtag. Well, well it's, yeah. yeah, that's not a site. It's just a hashtag. Okay. Yeah, but that's cool, but like. You know, I met some cool dudes. We both did over there, and then that's how you get to know. Oh, he said he made it. Okay, cool. Right on. We'll use it then. I just think that, you know, you can never, to me, you can never have too much friends. Anybody that says, I get I get too much friends, the hell wrong with you? You can slap and say something like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, who says something like, I get plenty of friends. I, I can't afford to get rid of some. Like, what? Okay. <laughs> what the hell? What? Did you see Steve's comment? What? 
Running into Boss 2 at 4 a.m. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, running into Boss 2 at 4 a.m. in the morning was nuts. Yeah, because me and Steven ended up talking to 6 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what the stores <clears throat> used to open when I could get around. Yeah, that's the that's time I would go. You know, go shopping around that time and, you know. <laughs> uh, New Collector said, he goes, and then a lot of cool people. Where were you? Where you guys was? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was out really late, and then you know, boss one is usually out like around ten, nine, because he had to work in the morning. Yeah. So you know, <clears throat> so it was a lot easier. Plus, to at four a.m. Yeah, I used to I used to go out that late because it was easier. Plus, I got I usually go and I gotta buy stuff, huh? You know, Beverly's, Doodoo Paper. I don't like standing in one line a long time, so that's when I go. <laughs> uh, Stevie says, Boss One was always, I catch him on the way out. <laughs> yeah, I was like running in and I'd see him as I was leaving. Uh, Evan said, buying your batteries at 4 a.m. <laughs> Charles said, it's 4.30 a.m. here now. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that Charles? That, that's PA, right? No. Yeah, Luke Collector said on the on the good old days when Walmart yeah. was open twenty four hours. Yeah, when it was open twenty four hours. Thanks to this fun pandemic crap, now it's not not that open twenty four hours. Oh yeah, Charles, you're you're in uh, Pennsylvania. Oh no, Central that's Time. What, what no, was... Central huh? Time is not uh, not Pennsylvania. Oh, I thought that's okay. I'm sorry. Central time, he said. Oh, okay. Well, Charles, we appreciate you up, buddy. Thanks for dropping in, bro. Yeah, thank you. I think um, David Beeson also said 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> Sleeping, <laughs> yeah. <question> mark, yeah. <laughs> no way, we're going to write those two guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Charles is in Pensacola, Florida. That's right. Yeah. You know, we have a Pensacola Street down here. <laughs> yep. And I worked on it. <laughs> Not that well, way. A lot of people I... don't realize it was it was <clears throat> actually a company that made, that there was going to merge Pepsi and Cola together. Coke. <laughs> okay, no, that's stupid. Am I? <laughs> no, it was um, it was the motor oil, Pence. Oh yeah, that's right, Penn State. <laughs> Pence and Cola. <laughs> yeah. Motor oil and soda. Yeah, motor oil and soda, bro. Yeah, I heard some guys they like to take batteries from Walmart for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Hot Wheels and batteries. What a weird combo, huh? It's not like your Hot Wheels run on batteries. <laughs> well, the the RC ones do. Oh yeah. They do now. Yeah, let's get All this right, one. So. Let's get this one open. So it's a seventy okay. Boss Mustang three o two. Three o two. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Hey, what's going on, everybody? We are live right now with everybody up on with us, kicking it, and we're gonna be cracking open this seventy Boss three o two RLC in the pink. Open today on H Dub five o. Want to say what's up to everybody live with us? We got Charles, new collector. We got Evan. We got Steven. Who else we got that's still up? I think uh, Kelly fell asleep. Uh, yep. We got everybody on. We thank everybody. All you guys uh, jumping on with us tonight. We appreciate it. Enjoy having you guys. This is why we like doing this because, you know, hey, even though we can't <clears> see <throat> you guys, we still talk with you guys, which is awesome. Yep. So if you're right. watching the video now or watching the replay of the live stream, don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe so that you can see the notifications when we go live. If you're watching the highlight video where where we download that live stream, cut it up and make it into this nice, beautiful package, uh, also hit the bell and subscribe so that you can be a part of our live streams where we read your comments also and you can be on our live stream we 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 can set up a um a stream yard 
feed in. I didn't set it up tonight. The computer was restarting uh, while we started the live stream, so I wasn't able to get it on again. But we'll try. Hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers that we can try again uh, next week. So. So Charles said that's a sweet Mustang. You're right. It is. It is. I yeah. don't know, me, I like chrome pink. I think it's awesome. It's yeah. unique. It's cool. So, you know, is that the <clears throat> ugly rims on there? Yeah, this is the Neo Classics. Ah, uh, it's Neo Nazi rims. I hate those rims. Those are ugly, man. Yeah, so let's get this open while while you guys are talking. I'll go and. Yeah, so I can. Uh, Nick Lighty says, hit that bell to see some grails. Chee! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hit the bell so you can see some grails fall. <laughs> you know, so yeah, yeah, exactly. I like yeah. how some guys like they don't they don't know how we say it. They're like, some guys go, "Chee who?" <laughs> <laughs> so this okay. um this pink like, card doesn't no wrong, bro. <laughs> this pink card doesn't have a number. It doesn't. So, no. Oh wow. So there's no way to know. Well, I mean, it's safe to assume that it's not a lot because this is with the dinner car, the party car. Yeah. So they probably don't make a lot of them. And I, I think the rumor was 2500 Uh, And then in-house at the at the dinner, uh, they'd give away about 1000 So then 1500 would go up for sale. But I don't know if that's still the, the case. Wow. Charles says half his collection is Mustangs. Awesome. Oh boy. Awesome. He's a Mustang. He's a yep. Mustang. He's a pony man. Yep. So he's here to see this cracked. Oh. Look at that. Uh, Evan says some people can't say Chihu because they run out of breath trying to say it. <laughs> LOL. Steven okay. says I think all the pinks I've seen, no more numbers. Okay. I think you guys can see that. It's already trying to roll away. Oh. <laughs> so I, I positioned myself to catch it as it spins around. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's gonna do it again. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna have to take um whose advice was it to set up pillows around the cars? <laughs> you put God rail bro around them. You know, this car probably smokes on the track, you know. It doesn't take oh. much for this thing to get rolling. Yeah, because of the rims. Those rims are good for the track, but it's not good for, like, you know, as far as looks. Well, yeah. You can imagine, you can imagine if you put um, real riders on that thing, oh, the five-spoker um, um, craters on there, but that'd be killer, brother. Oh, yeah. I did see uh, somebody rip the wheels off of this and put some deep dish... Those metal ones, it looks really nice. Oh, that would be really sick, bro, yeah. Okay, so, um, Mike Dyson, if you're watching this in the playback, I did not put the sugar packets yet under. Well, that made me panic. I don't know if you guys saw my hand. Yeah, okay. Steven, Steven actually said, he goes, Mike Tyson, a.k.a. Mike Tyson told you that. <laughs> and he remembered, yeah, he did. Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty confident it's not going to roll. Yeah, I'm gonna sit down now. Okay, let's <laughs> let's zoom in on this. Let's take a look. Look Yo, at like that. Said, it's moving. I was just gonna say that, bro. I was like, the team looks like moving, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Charles said, my first real car. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Charles said, my first real car I owned was a 1978 Mustang King Cobra. Oh, dude. What you do with it? Whoa. Okay, so I'm going to set up bumpers on this. <laughs> Steven said, just that done, done. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you I don't know like what? Get a big smile, bro. I got an idea. Hey. No, I'm just gonna say, put them right in between the yeah. There the you end. go. Okay, so it's not gonna go anywhere. I don't have to add that to the the blooper reel. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he says he still has it, but it just needs a lot of body work. Wow. Oh, dude, that's cool, bro. That's your first car? Dude, if that's your first car you ever had, bro, just because it's your first car and it's a King Cobra, I think you should fix it. I think it's, I think it's worth the fix. Oh, yeah. Because at least if you got kids or whatever, you can say, oh, this is my first car. First owner? Were you like the first owner? Because if he was like the first owner, like, oh, that's even bad on that. Yeah, and you know the the mid seventies Mustang, the Mustang Two, uh, wasn't the wasn't like the most popular one. But if you look back when they do uh, restore those, I I think they look pretty good still. Yeah, Stephen said the uh, King Cobra was the Raymond Beetle race as the Blue Max. Oh, he's asking a question, right? And I I don't know. I'll leave it up to you. You know, Mustang dude. Hmm, I, I don't I don't know that answer. Maybe Charles might know. Second, my dad had it before me. Ah, uh, dude, you got to fix them now. Your dad had oh, yeah. it. Now you got to fix them because now you got sentimental value. So if you got kids that went from grandpa to dad to your, your son or daughter, brah, now you got to fix that. That is worth fixing, dude. Serious guy. Definitely. I would, I would, I would fix that. Like, if you bought it, like, secondhand from somebody else, like, back in the day, yeah, it's still worth fixing. But the fact that it was in a family, nah, that's an heirloom, dude. And it's a 78? Nah, it's worth it. Fix it, dude. I would fix that seriously, man. Because it's cool to have something when somebody, you know, when you, when you complete the, when you fix the rod, however you want to do it, whether you want to keep it up to specs, or original, or you want to you want to mod it out. Either way, when people ask about the car, you know how cool it's going to be when you say, "Oh, it was my dad's car, and then you know I got it, and it was my first car, and so I fixed it, and then now I'm giving it, you know, passing it down." But there's like a story behind it. A lot of people they like when there's a story behind it. I mean, it sounds like a lot better than, "Oh no, I'm, I'm useless. I just bought the car already made from some other dude." You know what I mean? It's better when it. Yeah. When it comes from somebody who put blood, sweat, and tears in it, you know, and they work on it, you know what I mean? And it's it's handed down from father, son, mother, daughter, whatever. That's like, to me, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. Which is what yeah. I'm going to do when I buy mine. I'm just going to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. That's cool, too. Like, if you, can, if you can afford to buy it, there's nothing wrong with that. I was just saying, like, when it, when, when it when it's transcended down from from you know one family member to another yeah it's you like know, an there's heirloom. sentimental value to it now yeah. so it's like a it just has more heirloom. value to it yeah and you know to me that's something like I would fix yeah you know uh Steven Charles who's your favorite Mustang driver Charles it's slowly getting done one piece at a time that's good bro and then Steven says show us some pics New collector said, "That's awesome, Charles. You know, yeah, Charles. If you have some pics, send it to us, man. We want to check it out. That'd be cool. And of course, when you're done with it, we gotta see the final product. Oh yeah, definitely. I like. Yeah, I'm a fan of all these, uh, all these shows where they build cars, they take them, and it's all crap. And then, you know, but remember, remember, we, remember, we we had an episode we were talking about this. I always wondered, you know." When these guys do builds like Foos and West Coast Customs and, you know, all these other guys, you know, Rust Valley, you know, uh, and Pitching Rides, whenever they do a build, I always like wonder, bro, the stuff they put in there, that's got to be big dollars, but like, how do they, like, you know, I know a lot of stuff is sponsored and stuff like that, but I always wondered, like, wow, I, I like to do that, then just go call up and say, hey, can you restore this? I thought it was free, but you know what? Nothing's free in life. And so I found out that most of these shows, they actually charge the guys money. Um, I think the average is about, for an average build, it runs a couple of hundred thousand, depending on what you want, what kind of car, you know, and the mods that you want done. But on the average, that's what they pay, like, I think it was like one or two hundred grand. And for a full custom, if you want a Foose original, I think he starts off at a million. 
and up, and there's a huge weight. But who wouldn't want a Foose custom? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But, but I mean, awesome. like, just to have the money to allow this. And that's one thing I noticed. It was a lot of elderly people that were getting their cars done. It was not look what too much guys like, oh, our age, walking around like, oh, I got to get a car done. It's always somebody that, and the guys that were our age were, like, rich. They were wealthy. They were business owners, or they came from money. Because, I mean, to build a, to, to just to redo a rod, it's big box, bro. You know, to get it to where you see show quality, plus you can drive it. It's awesome, but, and it's a fulfilling dream, but you're going to have some serious pay for that. That's why, like, if you can build yours, Charles, do it, dude. It doesn't matter how long it takes. So long as you finish it, you'll feel so satisfied and be like, whoa. But then again, you probably won't want to take it out of the girl. <laughs> <laughs> No, you know how long it took me for day? Nobody's driving it. <laughs> I probably would be like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Well, let's Let's, let's uh, close out this video real quick, and then we'll pick up the conversation after. All right. Uh, so stay, stay as long as you like on the live stream, everyone. Uh, we're going to close out this video here. Thanks, everyone, who stayed this long on the playback. And if you want to be a part of the live stream, uh, subscribe and hit the bell and check out our live streams that happen every Saturday or every weekend we'll do one. Uh, primarily, it, it'll occur on Saturdays uh, between 7, not 7, but 8, 9, 10 p.m. Uh, Hawaii Standard Time. So for some of you on the West Coast, it'll it'll be past uh, or at midnight or past midnight. But for the East Coast, we're, we're talking mid 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 morning or early morning like three four o'clock in the morning so um but for the orient it's like afternoon australia it's like uh, early evening so we'd like to see if we can uh switch that live stream up to different times of day so that we can get different parts of the world and see what kind of uh a response we get from our viewers so thank you for staying this long and we'll see you guys on the next video Right, so uh see Charles said that'll be a cool address to have. Oh what? Steven said, sorry boss one, new address. <laughs> boss two, new address will be sixteen fourteen Mustang Drive. <laughs> <laughs> and Charles said, Yeah, that'll be a good address. New Clement said that geek is sick. It is. And saying what's up to Matt Bye. Did I say your name correct? What's up, bro? Thanks oh. for thanks for stopping in. Yeah, Matt, uh, welcome. Steven also says, thinking on it, Mustang 2 was Kate Jackson's car on Charlie's Angels. Oh, yes, it was. The white one, right? I don't know. I forget. Was it? Yeah, I think so. White one with blue stripes, I think. Because I know Pamela Anderson had one for B.I.G. I think you got the... It's the... The yellow Mustang convertible, I believe. I think you got the you got the white lightning variant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, yeah, the the Johnny Lightning one. Yeah. I know they had a truck, a Mustang, and then other chick with the short hair drove something. I forget what it was. I think yeah. that Mustang in on the the white lightning Johnny Lightning white lightning is uh, like a ninety. 495 I think yeah I know it was a newer one yeah. it wasn't an older one Stevie said that's the one Farrah had the Jeep oh okay yeah that's a, yeah so she had the Jeep forget what Jacqueline Smith drove yeah I don't think too much people remember what she drove I think everybody thought Farrah was hot Jacqueline Smith was hot what was the other chick let's see how many, oh Kate Jackson <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember which one was hot. Everybody knows Farrah, though. I only got so. to watch it in reruns. <laughs> yeah, but I forget. Yeah. Because even in, like, uh, when, when that, uh, Pamela Anderson had that VIP show, I didn't watch it because that Pamela Anderson did it. And then it was like, whoa! <laughs> I mean, the show wasn't, it was all right. I mean, it was just boring, but I was like, 
Uh, it was okay, I guess. It didn't last too long, but it was all right. She was better in, um, she was better in, um, uh, Barbed Wire. Oh, yeah. She was excellent in Barbed Wire. I like, I, I actually like that movie. I don't know why people said it didn't do too well, but I think it had, like, a small cult following. I mean, it's a, she's a comic character, and the character is voluptuous, you know what I mean? But I thought she did a good job doing it, I mean. But they did, and I like Timor Morrison. He's a real intense guy, but everybody knows him as Django. He's Django Fett forever. <laughs> Dude, when you do a when you do a Star Wars movie, but you're like, that's why I notice a lot of these big actors they take small roles because like when you do a Star Wars movie, no matter how big your role is, if you're in it, you're like cemented in history like forever. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, especially a franchise such as the Star Wars. Yeah. You know, and you shall not pass. You know, so yeah. That's why I always notice, like, you see all these, you see all these big actors, like, well, not real big, but you know, actors that are recognizable, and you're like, dang, why well, took that small role? Like, what? Uh, Kate Jackson was a twig. Cheryl Ladd replaced Farrah. Oh yeah, that's right, Cheryl Ladd. Yeah, I didn't think anybody replaced Farrah. I know they actually replaced all of them after a while. They gotta, they, they, what did they think of, you know, reverse version of that? They get Charlie's Angels. What about Rebecca's Dudes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not going to do as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not like all the chicks going to watch them, man. <laughs> Uh, unless all the guys are like rich, good looking, and know how to cook, clean yard, and you know fix stuff in the house, then they'd be, ooh. Yeah, well, all they need is to be rich and good looking. Their personalities yeah, can suck, and they will still be. Yeah. Because uh, remember they had that they had a show, uh, the average Joe. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> that like sucked in one year, bro. That was gone, bro. What does that tell you about life? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't the average Joe's um, weren't they secret millionaires? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh. I think they were just regular guys. They probably did that after because, like, chicks were like, uh, hello, you do what? Uh, no way. <laughs> it's like, oh, shallow bunch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, Steven last. New collector. That's another kind of show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is. But you know, like, like, uh, what was I watching? Oh, I was just watching. Uh, uh, what is that movie that Quentin Tarantino did? Uh, uh, oh God, it's the one that had, um, Kurt Russell in it. Death. It's so he was driving the Nova with the duck. Death proof. Yeah. Death so Note? that Nova he had was pretty sick. Remember that Nova? It was like a 70 Nova, I think. He was driving it, had one, had one dump on the hood. And it was the, that was the death-proof car. Like, too bad they didn't do, like, a, a die-cast version of that. That would have been cool. Yeah. Like, that car, and then after he trashed that one, he had a uh, Challenger. Or was it a Charger? I think it was a 6 9 Charger. It looks exactly like Blaine's Charger. And then uh, uh, all the girls went to go test out a se- a white 70 Charger. It looked like the exact one from uh, Vanishing Point. So I had some pretty cool cars in there. And I think that if they made like a die cast of that, I would get the Nova and the... Uh, in fact, I did all of them. They were all muscle cars. They were all nice. Did you see that movie? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't remember. And so, from the response from everybody, I guess I'm the only fool that saw the movie then. <laughs> <laughs> Steven said it was 69. It had to be a Charger. Yeah, I think it was a Charger. It was a black primer Charger. It looked just like Blades on. 
That's why I was like, what? And it, oh, they, they would smash all of them, bro. Oh, they, they, I, I don't like to see with cars with nice rods, especially when I was watching Cobra and Sylvester so Stallone would go smash that Mercury. Oh. I was like, Bing! yeah. That 49 Merc, yeah. You would trash that car. I was like, oh. Even with the boot hub, still would look good. Yeah. Do you think then, we could make this look like that? Oh, yeah, bro. It's got a pedal green, that, that one green. It yeah. We'll swap them. Yeah, with some moon hubs. Right? We could, right? Yeah, can. Stevie said Cobra cried that whole movie. Yeah, and then, uh, what was the other movie? Uh, <laughs> the whole movie? <laughs> you cried you cry because they trash the cars? Because the movie was junk. The movie was alright. I like the movie. But, um. Yeah, when they trashed that Merc, though, I, I did feel the same. I, I felt a disturbance in the force. <laughs> yeah. In Expendables, when they, when they when they smashed up his truck, that, that, that truck he had, that black one, with the, with the 22s. Oh, my God. That truck was so awesome. I never when watched were, Expendables. What? Yeah. Yeah, Dolph Lundgren was shooting up his car. I was like, no! Was that the one with all the um, 80s and 90s um, yeah. actors? Yeah. Yeah, all the 80s and 90s action stars. Yeah. You seriously, you never saw none of them? No, I don't think so. Oh, I would have uh, remembered that, I think. Yeah, he had a nice, he had a fully restored truck. It was slammed and looked like a 22s on there and... I think it was a. Uh, it looked like a. What would a uh, like a flat a fifty six flash cider? That's what it looked like. Black primer. What car was this? I didn't watch that either. It was from the first Expendable. The first or second Expendable movie. One of the two. It was either the first one or the second one. It was Sylvester Stallone's black truck. It looked like a black fifty six flash cider. Yeah, it got all it got all smashed up. They got all shot up, and I was like, in the Tierra, I was like, no! I was yelling in the Tierra because I was all sick. I was like, why well, you gonna smash all the nice cars up? Go bust up that van or something, or smash the Mercedes. And then at the end, they all got on their bikes. They all had custom choppers. Some of them looked like big dogs. Some of them looked like Harleys, but they were all they were all modded out. They all looked good. I was like, damn, that's how you roll, bro. Hey, Charles said, that was a sweet truck slide. Thank you, Charles, for watching that movie. <laughs> it was only me that would watch the movie. Thank you, sir. <laughs> that was a sweet truck. That's why I was all sick, man. I was like, oh, my God. Uh, Steven said, should have been better called as kids. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was going to say that, but I held it back. And then uh, Steve said, oh, yeah, so it was the second one. Okay, cool. New collector. I did. What is this 510 from? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this 510 on the screen is from the second year release of the uh, that Hot Wheels case in the background. Yeah. You know the, the, the one that can hold the 50 or 48 cars or 50 cars? That one. Yeah. Well, when you buy the case, you get the car. Yeah. You know, yeah, as you can see, they put a lot of detail on it, huh? Yeah. Oh, awesome yellow and black. So here's a little preview of what we're going to do next week. Black and yellow, 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 black and yellow. See that, that looks like a, is that an auto or Johnny Lightning? Johnny Lightning. Ah. 62 Chevy Corvette. That's the one. I like the, that, yeah. That's the lights I like. And then uh, maybe we'll do this one too. 61 Impala. He said it was a 57 vet. What year was that vet? 62. 62. Okay. Wait, the vet was around in 57? Oh, so Steven went pretty soon. 57 vet. I know I had. I thought it was 58, was the, or was it 56 was the first year? Or was it 52? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was 50, 56, I think. Is it way off? 62. 
<laughs> you see, we admit when we're wrong. We question ourselves too. We what? <laughs> oh, I thought it was 50... 50... But, but see, eight. this is the difference with our channel and everybody else's channel. Everybody else like, pause. All right, let's just go Google this. <laughs> and after they get it done, then they come back out. It was the uh, 62. Us guys, wait, which one was this? And then all you guys jumping on and trying to help us out. So see, this is how you get everybody to participate and have fun. If I, we just kept saying it, we'd be like, no sense we say nothing. You guys already know I'm chocolate at. Nobody's perfect. That's why we keep it real like this. Yeah, 62 or 63 was split. Yes. Uh, split windows. Uh, new custom. Uh, Oh, here we go. Steven said 62 or 63 was split, yeah. That's the skyline. And the black one, too, yeah? Yep. Was, what, what movie was that? That was a Tokyo Drift, right? Or was it when uh, he blew past the cop and he goes, don't worry about them. If you're doing... What did he say? If, if their cars are factory tuned and can't go over 80 or something. Well, I forgot what he said. That was cool. He was like, oh, if you're going over 100, they can't catch you. So, so they don't even try. <laughs> I like that. That was so cool, bro. <laughs> well, let's try. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot which one. Was that Tokyo Drift? Or... I think it must have been Tokyo Drift because Han said that. So it must have been Lucas Black. I don't find that guy like, the greatest actor, though. Hey, Charles, are you still on? This yeah, is my this is my favorite body style of Mustang. Yeah, see, um, new car is the top ten go over a certain speed. <laughs> speed is said eight stuff five holes are cool. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it was Tokyo Drift, yeah. Okay, that's what I figured. See, I and never it, watched that that Fast and Furious. You know, in real life, uh, Han. And Lucas Black race um, DK right, and Holland trashed that 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 car he had. I forgot. I don't know, was that a Sylvia or was that a Skyline? But he he but he didn't he didn't trash that he didn't trash Han's car like bro. It was all boss. In real life, Han would have just shot him in the head. <laughs> not you'll be a you'll be a couple. Yeah, bull crap. Poor ass, bro. No way, bro. Yeah. Real life, you'd be like, hey, you trash my car, you gotta die. You know? And Charles said, yes, he is. Boss is a B6. Okay. So oh. Charles is on. Did you want to tell him? Oh, you showing the Mustang. Yeah. Oh, is what year is this? Um, This one is a 90. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I caught it with my feet before it hit the ground. Yeah. <laughs> this is a 90. Yeah, that's my favorite body style. This is the one that I would Fox. like. I want this in a pearl blue. Whoa, almost. I flinched there. I want this in a pearl blue coupe with the five spoke um, GT wheels. Yeah. Oh, you're real specific with that color. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See, Steven said 90s still look like that. Mm. Yeah, so they had the the hatchback and they had the the coupe, the LS uh, or LX uh, models. And um, I like the coupe better than the hatchback. I got pretty close to buying a white one like this. It was a five speed 5.0. It was like a pearl white. It had at the time it had just about a hundred thousand miles on it. Um, I went that day to go buy it and the company sold it. They had sold it already. Oh wow, that sucks. <laughs> I missed out on two 5.0s. Uh, there was an 84 
at the car dealership when I first started working there. Before I bought my 240SX, I showed up to buy that 84. It was a black primer uh, Mustang. And um, it sat for months before the day that somebody came to buy it was the same day that I decided I was going to try and get it. We were in it for 800 bucks, so I was like, oh, maybe I can get it for 15 or you know 1200 and I could go to get a cool cheap uh, 5.0 Mustang but yeah it sold before I could get it somebody else had the same idea <laughs> yeah so I missed out on three cars in that same well I was I said the 240SX but the, when I bought the Ford Explorer that was the third choice no that wasn't that was the second choice the first choice was a Frontier, a four-door um, automatic uh, air, four-door with the long bed. And somebody bought it the day I went to go buy it. So I went to go buy the Ford Explorer instead. Steven, uh, Steven said, I want to know is what Mustang did with the SGO. What? I want to know. Yes. Oh, they. What Mustang did the SVO? The eighty. I think they did the hatchback, eighties, uh, mid eighties. It was like eighty four. I think they did it in um, in car culture. Oh. In it sounds SVO. like the body style. But Stephen also said that was my friend's car, boss one. He put choke stuff inside. Which car? The highway Which car patrol. Was your friends. Because you, you said he said he's talking about two different cars, right? Yeah, yep. Yeah. So which car? Which car was it, Steven? And then um, what was the other one? Uh, it was a this guy. Uh, I saw this. I was at a, I was at one of the shops. Some guy walked in, and he had a um, raw. I think it was a raw. Uh, charger, a Challenger, and he wanted to sell it. And so I said, "Well, can I see it?" I like look at him, and he goes, "Yeah." And I was looking at him. I was like, "Wow, this is nice." It was like, it was like, I forget, like, um, it was number like. Eight of ten, you know. So the rows are only ten made. Right? So I go, damn, how much you want for this? He goes, why are you interested? And I said, no. And he goes, oh, you're not interested? I said, no, because this is gonna be a couple hundred bucks. And the guy goes, what? Well, I think we're that much. I said, ah. Oh. <laughs> I said, what? And he goes, wow, well, how much does it work? I was like, ah. Oh. Oh, that dude in the shop, he's all pissed. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes, oh, wait, I'm going to go check the price then. He was looking at eBay. He was like, wow, this thing is like $500. <laughs> <laughs> and he used to say, I don't go to that shop anymore. <laughs> oh, man, that was funny as hell, bro. I, I thought the dude do, bro. I was like, how do you not know? I guess he just grabbed it. I figured he must have knew, right? Because it's like, I don't know. I guess he never so. You know. Uh, oh, the B, the 84. Yeah. That, hey. What Challenger was that? You talking to? Challenger? You wanted me to. But, um, on New Collecting, you still with us. Are well, you going hunting tonight? Wait, everything closed, yeah? Yeah. Oh, the 84 bus that you're talking about. Yeah, there there was a... It's a white one. I think it was part of that RLC um, box release. Oh. Uh, yeah, don't collect the one. Um, you've, been hunt you've been hunting lately. Found anything? Found anything cool? And Charles, uh, how's about your era? You uh, you been hunting? 
Did you find anything cool? I like to know uh, for those that for the guys that still go hunting. Uh, I think it was at Safeway. I saw the you know they had that van, that green moon eye van. Somebody somebody went dig through the the what do you call that? The, what do you call the one that already comes in the box? Like the dump bin. Safeway has that mini dump bin thing. Somebody went look through because they had all the cars out. They had all the the van with the with the moon eye logos on them. Had them all out. Oh, nicely stacked up. Hey, can you guys hear those racers going by? In the background? Luke Fletcher found some of the new Van Vans Boulevard. Oh, which one is that? Oh, they have, um, the next set is out already? Yeah, I didn't even know it was out. Wow, damn, you found some Vans. Oh, the HKS. Oh, the H, yeah. Well, I didn't even know those came out yet. Yeah, I think it's a, a pop culture release. It's got a VW um, T1, I think. It's, oh. a, it's that lower panel van. It says Coney on the side. Speed Shop Garage ones. Yeah, looking at them now. Oh, they look pretty good. Get the HKAN. They get the... Oh, the Coney. Oh, that's some V-Dub, bro. Yeah, silver, yeah. Yeah, and then... The Hooker one looks nice, actually. Oh, the Bilstein is a Land Rover. The Hooker headers is a... 77 Dodge van. The Michelin is a GMC custom van. That down the about me. And the uh, NPK van is the HKS. Isn't that from Terminator? Hunter Killers? <laughs> <laughs> well, the Hooker one and uh, HKS and the Cody one looks good. Uh, obviously, everybody gonna be yanking on that Coney over there. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody find any supers? Oh, and the HKS is pretty popular too. Well, Charles said, uh, "Have not been hunting for a little while." New collector said he found uh, speed wagons too. No supers. Ah, oh, that sucks. You know, if I can't find them, I, I, I would hope that other people can find them and so they can at least enjoy. I'd much rather have a collector find a super because at least I know they'll enjoy it and not just use it just to flip. You know, it's always good when a collector gets it. Nothing wrong with the guys that flip them, but, you know, sometimes when you have a lot of collectors that just want the item, you know, it, it happened with comics. So much, so much guys were buying multiple copies that the collector couldn't get any. And then now when they wanted it, they had to pay a higher price, which is like the norm nowadays. So. Yeah. Well, it's, it is kind of junk that, you know, the flippers go out, soak up everything, and then the collectors are left paying the big dollars for them. Yeah. That, that does suck. Yeah, it does. Because in the end, this is what's going to happen, and this is true, true fact. Okay, if the hobby was to collapse, the collectors are the only ones that are going to stay in the game. Yep. All the speculators and flippers, they're going to bail because there's no money in it. Which is perfectly fine. I'd rather be able to get what I want and not have to worry about it having a value because it's just something I want. Yep. So we should have you buy it. We should and start telling everybody price. that Hot Wheels is crappy, junk, and you shouldn't be here. <laughs> and then we can get what we want. <laughs> uh, Steven said, Super is only the one in my house. <laughs> and then New said, I really need those 
Sound like this too, but can't find any. Yeah, I heard that. Imports not only love HI, bro, hard to find, especially Salicas, bro. Charles said, I have never found a super or regular treasure. No way, Charles. Like, like ever since you started, you never found one. New collector, yeah. Haven't even seen it in stores yet. Someone is grabbing those. Oh, yeah, guarantee, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you have a job and you, you have a family, you know, you know, for those guys that are retired that can relax, stay home and collect the check, those are the guys you gotta go up against because they get plenty of free time and they got money. So they got time to go hang out at the stores and pull everything. You know, that, that's, and we know some of them and I don't have a problem with that, but that's what you gotta do. And, then, you know, after a while, when you, one thing is like, it used to be fun. But after a while, when it starts to get to the point where you go out all the time and you don't find nothing or things got hit or whatever, or you know what I mean? After a while, it kind of kills your fight. You know, it, it used to be good fun when you get to, you know, like your IO buddies and stuff like that. But Yeah, it kind of sucks you know, when you are when you go out and you're vigilant at hunting and you never get anything. Yeah, you don't get nothing, bro. You know, or like, you know, like, like was that what was that one time when they came out? Uh, I think one when they were bringing everything out in the bins already, and I was like, usually they dump them in the bins right there, but they were bringing it out and already dumped in. So I think um, I was there one day, and they brought it out, and I was like, oh, and I was like, by myself. Everybody was attacking the other bins, so I started nailing through that. So it was three different um, bins, you know the small cardboard ones, you know, not, not the big, huge ones that they have at Walmart, but the, I forget what you used to call those, the small ones. Um, yeah, they're still, they're still, um, uh, dump bins, they're just small ones, though. So. Yeah, so there were three different ones. The guy came out with, uh, with that, uh, not forklift, but, you know, that rolling, uh, hauler, he came yeah. out with that, I was like, whoa, did you guys just fill it up? He goes, yeah, we just filled it. Dude, that, that probably looked like, had maybe like, probably like, I think like, maybe like, 10 cases in there. I never find one super, bro. And I tore that thing apart, bro. I got on a shopping cart and I was just filling them, bro. I never find one super at all. That's the time I called you. I found the treasure hunt, the truck, the foodie truck. I never have one oh, yeah. super. And I'm like, how the hell that many cases and not even one super, bro? That, that sucked. Uh, Steven said, really, Charles, don't worry. It was a while when I found my first who collected. The paint job is awesome on the Celicas. Oh, really? Bro, I never seen If you get one, send us a pic, man. I want to check it out. Steven said, dude, is that the same green like the Civic? Charles said, there's a guy here that sells Hot Wheels and don't collect. Ah, oh, no way. Is he expensive? New Collector Green Civic. What color green, New Collector? Is that that metallic green or is it that like ugly pea soup green or is it that spectra green? Steven said, we'll have to, we'll, we will have this guy named Man the Dead and uh, uh. Mm -hmm. uh. Steven said, dude, look like a Civic. So maybe it's something else. New said, don't have one, but see on other people's channels. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the because I remember like um, when the uh, uh, what was that Mustang? No, that was that Camaro, right? That green Camaro Super that came out. The one you had that had the different um, yeah, the card, the red trimming around it. Yeah, Bro, I swear that one time when yeah, we're at Christmas time, so much guys was finding it that was coming up left and right. Yeah. That and the King Kuda had plenty, bro. And I'm like, freaking couldn't find one, bro. And I was like, all right, cool. But, you know, what tripped me out was, like, there were tons of them everywhere. It was on eBay. People were putting them up, finding them. And then, like, so much came out. And I'm like, I was shocked that it still held its value, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, on top of like, that, it also had... Some of them came, most of them came out with, like, Hawaii stickers on them. 
It's almost a color changer. Wow, no way. Stevie said minty green, and New Country said, yeah, it's a green shimmer with some gold or something. Oh, so it's like a green with pearl then. Wow. That is nice. That does sound nice. Charles said, yes, that guy charges three to five times more than the store value. You know, that sucks, Charles, because that's the kind of guy that are going to get there first. And when they get there, that's what they're going to charge. And then, you know, it kind of, you know, three, two, if you're going to double your money, like if you buy it for a dollar and you sell it for two bucks, I got no beef with that. I'll even go as high as two fifty. But when you start going like four dollars, five dollars, man, you can eat over, you know what I mean? Uh, new collector, DC. What's up, my brother? Oh, Diecast Clown. Welcome, dude. Yeah, welcome. <clears throat> you know, nice to see you guys popping in. Yeah, it's kind of, uh, we're on the tail end of the live yeah, stream. We just got done, we just got done with our, uh, our live, bro, but you can catch it on the replay. But good to have you here. You can check stuff up. So, Diecast Clown, uh, where you from, bro? You from the HI2? Steven said, Dan, the man, the hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> no names, please. No names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the, only, that's the only bad thing is, is like, it's part of the game already. People just hoard him. But like I said, uh, it's early on the East Coast. Ah, nice. East Coast, all right. So, uh, that guy's clown, did you uh, find anything cool? Find any supers? Find any uh, any good uh, premiums? <laughs> look, look, look like the band in the face. Yeah, because, you know, like I always say, if you was, if, you know, people say like, oh, I don't hoard, I don't do this, I don't do that. Okay, I believe some people don't. But nobody can actually tell me if they saw multiple supers on the on the rack, they wouldn't take them all. And I wouldn't blame nobody if they did. You know, give them to your friend, trade them. There's a lot of things you can do with it. You know, because mm-hmm. I remember the last time me and you were doing that and we decided to leave stuff. For other people and we ran into those other guys and we asked them hey we left a lot of uh hey have a good uh, night charles thanks for stopping by he's uh, he's okay, gonna cut I'm out to have to call it a night it's almost 5 30 and then you say damn charles hey yeah thanks charles thanks for hanging out with us bro we'll get some rest take it easy we'll see you next week my brother thank you so much for hanging out pal Collector, noise, DC. Yeah, I should sleep soon. <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm going hunting too. <laughs> like you're hunting tomorrow. <laughs> hey, a uh, diecast clown. Where um are you located? I saw East Coast, but are you in? What state you in? Diecast clowns are gonna set the alarm for the next one. Oh. <laughs> The next one for the live or? <laughs> oh yeah, it's probably gonna be like three o'clock a.m. his time. I think I think that guy's gonna see from the east coast. Oh, you're from Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. Yeah, my uh, uh, my grandpa is um, from Pennsylvania, Al- Altoona, Pennsylvania. Where? Altoona, Pennsylvania. Ah, never mind. I had a joke for that, but I better not say nothing. <laughs> yeah, is it related to um, <laughs> Frank De Lima? The word tuna in there that I had a joke with, but I'll, I'll refrain from that. <laughs> uh, oh, he said, 
uh, not far from me. Wow, that's cool. Small world. Oh, he's in the HI. Oh, okay, cool, nice. I mean, you don't gotta tell us exactly. That's not what we're trying to ask. No, Dykes Clown. He's in the HI or he's um, not far from Altoona. Oh, okay. All right, Charles. Thanks, bro. Have a good one. TC is from Ben Simmons Town. Okay, Steve, I always think you're a Ben Simmons fan. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing. That's the only thing. That's the one thing I miss. Just one thing about Frank. And then feeling when you you know you're looking and you're oh, you see the super right there like whoa. <laughs> but I never I never I never find it I, when I find my little mile. I find my like as soon as the guy I see the guy dumping the thing open, and it's like right there. But other than that, I never was like looking and finding him on the rack. It was either the dump bin or you know. I never had good luck finding supers. But I suck at finding supers. I think I found two in the wild. Uh, my first one was, uh, shoot, what was that car? Um, it's a fantasy car, but it was a super. Uh, the oh, second what? one was the 620, the green one. Oh. And I, I did find other supers, but we are at a dump bin with... Uh, several other aisle buddies and uh there was a new collector a new two collecting person not new collector but new two collecting person there and uh when we were talking we we're dumping uh it was a cardboard dump in we we're when we got to the bottom there was the uh, mustang uh the tuned mustang super so we gave it to oh, that one. yeah yeah uh that class, that class clown said supers are overrated. Agreed. Customs yeah. are where it's at. Agreed. 100%. Uh, Steven, Steven said he found four, maybe five. New collected two in the wild, ever. That class clown, 40 plus years collecting, found three super. Oh, dude, you've been collecting for 40 years. Wow. Nah, he's serious. 40 years he's collecting. Wow, dude! <laughs> you holy moly! You've been collecting forty years in DC, bro. That's a that's a feat, dude. Forty years. Wow. And you found three supers. I'm an old guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think that wasn't that um um Charles. He had the. Uh, I think Charles. He was all oh, old. How well, old you? Forty three. Forty something. Like what? Yeah, he uh, um he had two grandkids. Yeah, yeah. I got too freaking old, dude. Yeah, and I was like, I just had two kids. I'm forty. Well, I turned forty three soon. <laughs> I'm not forty three yeah. yet. Yeah. Uh, do collect the boss one. Only two in the wild. Uh, Steven said, boss one and two are wild. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Dude collector. 45 years old isn't that old, DC. <laughs> that was Charles, yeah. Yeah, 40, not that old, but I mean, like, but I mean, 40 years collecting. Obviously, you never collected, you was one, so. Well, you could have. Well, yeah, I was just going to say, you could have, because. Sloan already has a whole ton of Hot Wheels that I'm giving her. <laughs> so you could have, you know. But that's that's impressive, bro. 40 years, wow. But like you said, you know, we all, like, every time we have this discussion when supers pop up, and we all trip out that, the, you know, the fact that it's supposed to be a highly sought after chase piece, you know what I mean? It, it's, the, you know, the basis grail. And then you have a premium. And you can buy a premium, and it's all metal to metal with real riders for like five, six bucks. Yet the super is, you know, get the real riders, but the basis should be made. It should be, it should be, it should be metal, and it should be numbered too. 
but that's never going to happen. But, but you know, it, it should be. I don't yeah. know why it's not. I don't think they can fit one million on the bottom of a super. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Get the hashtag. <laughs> One, two, 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 two. <laughs> yeah. Luke Cody said, I just made my four years. Whatever. Congrats to you, my brother. Four years. Good for you, Steven. You're 40 years old. Then boss 2 and me must be third. <laughs> and my cast clown, enjoy this, guys. Thank you for letting me in. Hey, anytime, brother. It's all good. You know, over here, our channel, bro, we get a lot of nice guys, cool people, you know what I mean? And everybody show respect to everybody. And I appreciate all the guys. You know, when people come on, they always tell everybody, hi, what's up? They welcome everybody. And that's what I enjoy, you know, that kind of, that kind of good respect. And, you know, we, we both appreciate everybody that does that. And, and so that's why we like, you know, PSA talking story. I just got to watch my mouth, though, because sometimes I get carried away. And Boss One got to edit that out, and I don't like giving too much stuff for edit. But trust yeah. me, we, well, we found can't, out that some of the guys was young. We can't edit live streams, and you've already dropped the S hit three times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we found out that one of the guys was jumping on with us was 11. So, you know, I don't, I don't like, I don't like him. He was a nice kid, so. I don't want to say that kind of stuff, but it's it's always good to meet new people and and you know and especially cool people, you know that and we all have the same thing in common. And so yeah, anytime, dude. We do this every Saturday. We try to do it every Saturday. So right around like between nine and ten ish. So you welcome. You know, we try to we, we try to do another time, but because of certain things that we get going on in our life, we gotta work and all this other stuff. So it's hard to you know coincide with this so but you know so we feel kind of bad we kind of get all the other guys on the other side of the planet and you know but you know for all the guys that do jump on it's fun you know and we make you guys jump on and fall asleep <laughs> <laughs> oh that's so funny bro that's so funny uh let's see uh dude collector first year steven said dude is a rookie woohoo I haven't seen Mr. India since. Yeah, no joke. He must be still studying. Maybe he got in trouble. Like, has <laughs> come. Been thinking about shutting down my channel. You guys may have changed my mind. Oh, well, good. Yeah, let us know what your channel, dude. You know? And, uh, yeah, if you, you got a channel, you know, if you keep it open, bro. You know, the more the barrier, bro. We're all good around here. You know what I mean? We don't, you know, you know we try to help everybody out. We're all learning, too. It doesn't matter how long you collect. Nobody knows everything, you know what I mean? So it's good to know a lot of people, you know? And, uh, yeah, look at, look what you said. Nah, keep it up. So, you know, yeah, do it, dude. I mean, you've been collecting 40 years. That's a that's a serious veteran, man. So, you know, and I've, I've seen, you know, I've been doing it for a while, too. I stopped for a bit because... It got disgusting. It got really, you know, people can be, you can find really cool dudes, but once in a while you bump into some some butt plugs too, you know what I mean? And like I remember this one time, <laughs> we there was do this have, couple. We do have possibly an 11 year old that's going to go, Mommy, what is a butt plug? <laughs> 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 I heard it on H Dub's live stream. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they had there, there was this one couple. Uh, I don't know if they were a couple, but I know they were together. And then, um, while, while other guys was trying to look, they stood right in front of the racks, in front of the pegs, and they wouldn't let nobody, you know, look. And they were just hogging up, and they were just taking everything. And then, so the first time, you know, when I was just kind of new, I was like, I let that slide. Second time, I ran into them. I said, move, and I went in, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, you know, like I said, I met some great guys, and I met some idiots, so, you know, you never know, I mean, you know, like, 
like, like, like, like, like you were saying, the Isle Buddies. There's a lot of cool guys. I like that camaraderie. We can talk story and you find out who does customs. And, you know, it's good to, like I said, talk with people live. It's good face-to-face, but now that Walmart ain't open and there's no Target, I mean, not Target, there's no uh, Toys R Us. And, you know, so we have such a limited supply. A lot of guys in the mainland, you guys get like Hobby Lobby, Kroger's, Safeway, Toys R Us. You know, uh, not Toys R Us, but I mean Target and Walmart and what is that Dollar Tree store? Everybody keeps scoring stuff from. You know, I don't even, we don't even have that here. So you guys got a lot of venues that you can buy stuff from. We we only got like what two or three. That's it. And the amount of collectors on the island is just crazy. Or as they say, pick grade. You know, so it's like uh, Stevie said, "What's your channel? Plug it, bro. It's community." New collector, I need someone to trade with on the east side. I cast clown friends for life, new collector. I can send without a channel. Stevie said, oh, on, on that was a bad night. I remember the two. New collector, noise. See what I mean? You know, like I said, uh, that guy found me. Anytime you like jump on, we do it every Saturday around 9 and 10-ish. So you're welcome to come back, join on. Like I said, if you got if you got any questions or you got stuff you want to share, send it to our page, man. Wherever where we get stuff up, we go, we also go upload stuff and show other people's things. We have a friend that loaned us some um, some cars that we didn't have, and he was nice enough to let us show them. Which one was that? The, that was the um, the BREs, right? We did. He. Is that the ones with the real, uh, not real riders, but the, the Neils? Yeah, the ROC ones. Yeah. The ROC BREs, yeah. yeah. Those are really nice. Yeah. Like, I didn't even see those before. You know, but he was nice enough to let us, you know, showcase it. So everybody was like, wow. Like, I liked it. Well, I think it was a, two, it was a 240 and the 510s. Yep. So those are cool. Like, I've never seen those. I've seen the regular ones. But I've never seen the RLC BRE ones. You know, so whatever was red and blue was chrome red, chrome blue. So that was pretty sick, man. Diecast Clown, you guys rock. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Steven said, that night with the two, I had to bite my tongue and cover my hand. That was not a nice night. New Collector, open more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know, I'll open my five pack, but I know more of that, so. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, now I'm not gonna get the. Now I'm not gonna get the the train now, the bus. So you mean like <laughs> this? Guys. You mean like this, oh. new collector? <laughs> yeah, you get plenty smiling faces on top there. Yeah? <laughs> you said, no, you get some stuff. If get us some stuff, if what do you get? Look like a you. Like as Khan said, look like they ripped into a nice piece the other day. Oh, what you ripped oh, into, yeah. bro? Bust it out, bro. Well, we won't be able to see it. We, we'll have to go over to his video because I didn't. I don't have the streamyard running. Oh, okay. Are you gonna open that now? You're not gonna open that, are you? Oh, I don't know. He said open something up. Oh, where he went? Go collect the wall. What happened? What happened? <laughs> First, tell us what you would rip into the other day. And then let us know if you like us open this. <laughs> Does anybody else want us to open this? Or are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess you're not going to open them then. Oh, now I like see them, damn it. <laughs> Diecast Die Clown. Do, it do, do it, it, do it. Or how about one of the two wicked gassers that I got? Right, let's put it back here. Steven said, new when Rip won fart. <laughs> oh, yeah, that red one is nice, bro. I like that red, bro. I don't know how I ended up with two. 
I wonder if one is a convention car and then one comes as a grill. But they're not the same die cast, not the same ones, are they? It is identical. But what one is a one is a what? One might have been the Grail subscription. The other one was the uh, convention subscription. I guess Tom said, holy smokes and gassers. <laughs> oh, he wasn't here earlier. That's why. He didn't see us take out the other one. Yeah. You got to go back, I guess, Tom, and check out our... Uh, we, we opened uh, the Gold Gasser, the 18th annual one, the Nationals, and then... We put them side by side with the, um, the Flying Tiger Green uh, ROC National. I mean, the Green 5.5 five Gasser. Yeah, I'll take it out. But, uh, yeah, you can go back and watch the... We'll, we'll cut it up and upload it into next week's uh, um, videos. So, But you can check it out there next week. Just, just the one we were open today. Yeah, this was our first video, I think. Yeah. That uh, flying tiger is sweet. Yeah, we even dropped um, the dirty blonde. <laughs> yeah. And that's the that's the diecast, not the actual chick. Yeah. <laughs> Would that be a culturally insensitive thing to say? Probably. Or is it okay because they're of the lighter skin type? No, I think anything is anything is culturally insensitive now. Because I I think um, a lot of the fight right is the. Um, Goes, LOL, what's wrong with you guys? A lot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying what's wrong with us because we dropped the cars? <laughs> is that is that what you're saying? Because uh, we dropped the we dropped the um the chrome pink Batmobile. Yeah. Three times it rolled off and yeah. fell down. <laughs> I haven't uploaded that video yet, so. <laughs> yeah, when we when we load it up, go watch, but. Who collector was there? <laughs> <laughs> so <is> Steven. <laughs> oh, die class <laughs> clown said he dropped a dirty blonde one time. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, the uh, collector said, "Yeah, they ripped everything open. That's why you gotta check these guys out. Insane, die class clown. <laughs> Lol." <laughs> <laughs> I think right now, I think right now the only grill I never opened was this one. The Ferrari. Yeah, you never got yeah, that's the only one you never bust open. Yeah. And I think I have two, that's why I want to make sure if I do have two, I'll open. Yeah, you crack one open. Yeah, I'll open one. I like to see that open too. Oh, nice, bro. Diecast Clown, like, LOL, Diecast Clown, love this. New Collector says, awesome channel, Diecast Clown says. The energy is awesome. Thank you guys. We appreciate that. Mucho mahalos, bro. We try. You know what I mean? This is something we like, but you know what? Having cool peeps on the channel with you guys makes it easy, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So as long as we, as long as we get great guys, you know, this is just us, bro. This is how we are. When you watch our regular videos, we cannot do all this kind of stuff. That's why we like doing the live so we can follow out with everybody. Oh, for the guys in the mainland. Talk to everybody. <laughs> I'm I'm a real big fan of this casting though. This one right here. Uh, Luke Collected. Tonight is your night, bro. From the movie Twins. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? I never catch that. What do you mean by that? <laughs> and then Luke Collected just put Enzo. Yeah, that's nice. That purple one was nice, the one he had. Yeah. Isn't this the purple one? Sorry, I'm looking through stuff around, around that we could uh, 
flash. Yeah, you're not gonna open that, dude. <laughs> Guys was asking him for open that. He never like open them. If he has a second one, he gonna open them. Yeah, because I, I uh, think I do. I wanted you for open the Enzo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think when we did that video, there was one commenter that said uh, he should have opened it. I remember, I remember reading one comment that said, uh, "I guess I mean we do open. I pretty much do open almost everything, and yeah. and it's not because I spent Grail money on them. It's because I spent way less." Yeah. I mean, I, I, most of them I paid maybe twenty three dollars for, cause it was a it was a subscription for twelve months, so I paid for twelve at a discounted price, and that's the only reason why I'm, I'm opening them, cause it's it's not a it's not if a big loss. Those, yeah, if you bought them for those grill prices, one you yeah. wouldn't have them. Period. Yeah, I cause I wouldn't buy them at that price. Yeah, he didn't drop no three four hundred bucks and. And two, there's no way he would, or like, you know, that would be crazy. Because if you buy something, then you end up dropping, like, that much bread for him. But you know what? Here's the thing. Even if you spent the money for it, if it's something that gives you enjoyment and you enjoy looking at it's kind of like getting a Poke Bowl and not eating it. What's the purpose of that, right? You want, you got to enjoy them, bro. Yeah. Some guys enjoy it because, like, you know, I'll give, I'll say this much. Sometimes you have vehicles where the cards are really nice. The art on the card is really nice, and you want to keep it like that. So I get that, too. I see both sides because I was on both sides. You know, I used to just, I never used to open my stuff. But now when I see how, when you put it in a nice display or a nice case, how nice it looks, you know, it looks a lot better. So I, I see both sides now, and you know I don't I don't I don't get on anybody because I know I know how how it feels, especially like when you buy like a lot of the pop culture stuff, the art on the cards. Like I think um, Alex Ross did a set, was the DC the Justice League set. Now that I didn't want to open because if Alex Ross ever came down, well we was hoping he'd come down to the convention. I would have him sign them all. I didn't open mine. And it's not like it's worth a lot of money. It's not. But he did the art of the cards. Yeah. So it's Alex Ross. Is, yeah. If he was to sign it, that would be dope. But I would keep it. You know, I wouldn't yeah. sell it. I would just keep that because that would be something like I would have to find something to display it in. I had uh, John Romita Jr. at the con sign my Batmobile because he actually, well, he actually was doing, he was working on Batman at the time. So we actually filmed it. It's in one of our videos. Um, and I interviewed him, and he was—he's—he's he's, he's a friend of mine. He's really cool, you know. And you know, he just—he's just an awesome dude. So he signed the Batmobile, and since he always drew Punisher, I had him sign my Black Punisher van. So and I opened it, and I don't open my stuff, so I opened it just so he could. I wanted him to sign the car, and he yeah. did. So we have that, and like I said, very nice guy, very 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 cool dude. Yeah, by you know, his comic, right. you can see Boss 2's face in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But it's, it's, you know, it's, it was fun, you know, and, you know, so, I, I, I see both sides, because sometimes like, I even see the art, and I'm like, well, I don't like open this. You know, and if you, if you, if you can get it, like, at the cost... Like, if you can buy for, like, five bucks, then buy two. Open one, keep one, cherry. But if you're buying them already where it's expensive, I don't know. Unless you got that kind of FU money, then that's fine. But I don't have regular money, so... <laughs> hey, Steven, that uh, Malibu is a GTO. Steven said, we need to rename these Saturday nights and call it Saturday Night Raw. Yeah, I... might have a problem with wrestling, guys. <laughs> What, is wrestling, guess, is Saturday uh, Night Raw? I think they had something called Raw. I know Eddie Murphy had something called Raw. <laughs> yeah, he had that Raw too. But we're not that Raw. <laughs> yeah, we're not that Raw. I would love to be that Raw. <laughs> if we was uncensored, you'd see a different side of us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you think it's lively now, uh, yeah, Diecast Clown. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, like as Clown said, I'll have to adjust my body to wake up early Sunday mornings to catch you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool if you can jump on, bro. New collector, I'll give you $25. <laughs> For what? That For the grill. Awesome. <laughs> For the grill, since I didn't spend that much on it. Like as I said, I'll try to buy two. One to open and one one for the wall, yeah? Boss one. What's that? A Malibu. Oh, yeah. Yes, Steven. John Romita Jr. JR, JR. Diecast Clown. Wish I knew all you guys. Sounds like one guy is on the phone. Please excuse my ignorance. I'm new. Yeah, I'm far away, so I'm, it's me. I'm the one that sounds weird. He's the one in the studio. Because it is stupid. Okay, I'm not going to get all, all, all aggro about it, but because of this damn pandemic and stuff, yeah, so it's kind of difficult. So that's why, you know, it's like this. Before, if you watch our older videos, we both were in the studio, so it was a lot easier. But... Yeah, it actually took us longer to get through videos in studio because we start cracking up laughing. Yeah, and you know, I'm talking about, we always go off on a tangent. Yeah. You know, we talk about movies, cars... You know, music, all kinds of stuff. So Stupid people. <laughs> yeah, so you know what I mean. But yeah, that's that's what that's what it is. I'm on the phone. You know, we could so do a we could do a raw version, an unfiltered version of us on something like Patreon or or Rumble, or even um, the locals page, because those are those are restricted to eighteen and over. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, we could do those raw there and we could hold back nothing. <laughs> Look, look like they don't get him started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to use words that don't sound right coming out of my mouth. Flim, flam, flarm, egg, darn. When the real words would be. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, and I've already done stuff like that. Believe it or not, guys, I had a, I had a podcast, and uh, I basically got kicked off of every platform uh, <laughs> because of my language, because I didn't hold back. And I thought, I thought, if you do a podcast, you can get away with stuff, right? Like you can speak your mind and say. I mean, it's not like I was just f bombing everything. No. You know, but I was, I kept it real and I, 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 I didn't hold back. I, I thought you could. And so all these platforms kicked me off. I only was on like two. And then after I pulled some of the videos, because uh, my friend who was, who was running it for me, she pulled it. And then all these other platforms was accepting me, you know, and, you know, I was just talking about real things, you know, and I wasn't trying, I wasn't bashing nobody, but, you know, I just was being myself, you know, and I was, you know, stuff that people don't like, people that people, you know, are concerned about, but yeah. nobody like talk about because you get censored. Well, not that like, your well, self is a horrible person, just <laughs> they they didn't interpret your raw as yeah. <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It wasn't like, like what he said, not me bad in, in, in particular. No, it's just the way I was saying it sounded really harsh and then. But, you know, when people do wrong and they get away with it, that's not right. When you have people that are innocent and, you know, they get screwed, that's not cool either. You know what I mean? And and so, yeah, I just thought it was funny because once we took those videos off, I was like, you know, she called me. She goes, wow, all these guys, they're adding you back on. And I was like, what? <laughs> and I, I realized, I realized that guys that can get away with that are guys like Joe Rogan, Howard Stern. You know, them guys think you get them because they stars, but they big names. So if you're a nobody like how I was, yeah, you know, can if you get a big name, yeah, you can get away with stuff. You can get away with stuff. Uh, let's see, Steven said, "But then uh, uh, Rumble works." I guess I'm, I'm not very peopley. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you weren't sensitive enough. So yeah, Steven, I probably wasn't. I cast out. I'm a nobody, and I like it that way. And there's nothing wrong with that, man. Every, you know, to me, 
you be comfortable in your own skin, you be comfortable with yourself, you can be comfortable with others, but unfortunately not everybody is cool like that, you know, so... Yeah, it is more fun to be, well, like a nobody, uh, because then you can go places and do things without being interrupted all the time. Yeah, yeah, you get, you get stopped a lot. And, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, Stevie says, because they get money to protect them too. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. You know, they, they have, yeah, they also got bodyguards that carry gun, even though they don't like, they're, they're against God. <laughs> You know, in all honesty, I think Joe Rogan got paid a hundred million dollars to move to he did. to Spotify. I think they did it to quiet him down. He did. He, he did get that much. A uh, hundred million. Bro. He's now censored on Spotify. A lot of his good stuff um, that he carried over from the previous platform to Spotify, uh, they removed those. Really. Yeah. With his permission, because he it's his content, he, they can't uh, well, remove it without him knowing. So, well, of course, they, you know why they, they, you know why he allowed it is because he's retired. Yeah, you know, and he's got the hundred million tell already. We always we always joke about it, but the day you hear us say that every single car is nice, <laughs> you know, we got sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, this hobby is not a cheap hobby. Well, let me rephrase that question. It can be cheap, but, you know, because there's so much to buy, it can get expensive. Especially when you start buying premiums, RLCs. So it can get expensive. And especially, like, you know, that cast car has been doing it for 40 years. You must have a hell of a lot of cars, bro. And so I'm pretty sure if you sat down and you calculated what you spent, even though if you bought everything for a dollar, it would add up to a pretty penny, you know what I mean? But you wouldn't do it if you didn't like it. So for the guys that get sponsored, it's real easy. You know, they can they get stuff for free, but when you got to buy your own, it's really difficult, you know what I mean? Because you got to go work, you got to buy them, and you put on a video, you know, so. So we can't always get always the cool stuff but we like showing other people's stuff because everybody has something different. Um, do you customize cars like that, Tom? Let's see, what did he say? He played, that GTO is also overpaid, pompous Americans. <laughs> it's called culprit corruption, Steven said. That cast clown skylines are ugly, there I said. <laughs> Do collect it. Kidding, my brothers. I'll see everyone next time. Gotta wake up early for the hunt. Yeah. Right, do collect that. Take it easy, brother. Thanks for jumping in. I'll catch you later. Yeah. Do collect it. Hey, DC, I like Skylines. <laughs> <laughs> okay, new collector. Oh, I, can't trust. I don't support guys that are sponsored. Well, we're not sponsored. <laughs> yeah, we're not. And you know, honestly, if I don't think, we, I don't know if we'll ever, if we ever were offered a sponsor, um, we're not we would, change. Yeah, I don't think we would change. We're still. Gonna, I joke about it, but we're still gonna do the same thing because if you're gonna sponsor us for our honesty, we're gonna be honest. Yeah. I'll spit, I say, you know, like we had that one thing with the twelve different Batmobiles for one year. Also, cars, and it said custom, but they didn't show us or give us any inclusion of what it would look like. And the first couple came, and it was nice. And then there was a few of them that was ugly. And you know what? For what I paid for it, you know, and the House of Cars kept putting their logo on everything. It was like, you know, if you want to put one logo, that's fine. But they had it on the hood, on the sides, and you know, it. it, it it really wasn't cool, you know, and that's not what I wanted. So, you know, the custom job really was like a really lame custom job. We didn't think it was that spectacular. You know, they didn't even theme it. It wasn't themed for like Halloween. It wasn't themed for like Christmas or New Year's or Easter. It wasn't themed to like Batman, you know, theme. Maybe they couldn't get the rights. I don't know, but the whole point was for when you say custom, and 
apparently the guy that was doing it is really good, but maybe, like I said, he was held back because of money or, or I don't know, whatever reasons why, because I've seen what the guy can do, and he does good work. But for the Batmobiles, it was kind of like, what? This is it? Ugh. So, yeah. Yeah. That we, don't, we don't do that anymore. We don't order that anymore. Remember that uh, Batmobile you sent me, the Fatmobile? Yeah. That actually is not a die cast. That's, uh, that's the card for the Toy-Con convention cars. Oh, really? Yeah. So it wasn't a custom that they made. Although if they did make it, that would be sweet. But you can tell that uh, they redesigned the entire Futura uh, body to be a little different. Yeah. But that would be sweet if that one came out as a die cast. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. Steven said, DC, what kind of casting do you like? Uh, Diecast tells it, I don't support guys that are sponsored. Diecast said, I love custom work. Yeah, we do too. Custom work is awesome. You see the creativity of a lot of different guys, bro. And, I mean, you know, you know, Boss One does a lot of customizing himself too. So, you know, um, I see some of his detailed stuff. I couldn't do that. Cause that takes a lot of work and, yeah, I don't have patience. Yeah, I haven't done uh, that in a while. Let's see uh, what he said. Oh, that's why I'm here. I just picked up that ugly skyline ID. We <laughs> 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 think Luke Clay do it sleep. <laughs> uh, Steven says, we call them as we see them. <laughs> I guess I just scored the Bugatti ID too. Wow, that's nice. Oh, wow. Which Bugatti is that? Is that the uh, Veyron or the, or the, was it Tyrant? Simon, how do you say that? The other Bugatti? I don't know. Syrian or Siron? Oh, uh, Chiron. Chiron. Chiron, yeah. Uh, Steven said, yeah, because us three would die for that fat mobile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Steven, it was P H A T. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. Like I said, my custom work is weak. I do enjoy it. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's weak, dude. It's you, you know. I, I don't call any anytime somebody customizes something, that's your idea, but that's your how you want to see. It. That's what you think is nice or whatever. And as long as you enjoy it, bro, doesn't matter what anybody else says. As long as you enjoy it, you win, bro. I do some customs, but you know, I don't like show. <laughs> so I'm showing them the Fat Mobile. Oh, you showing them the Fat Mobile? Yeah. Yeah, that is nice. I wish we could have gotten that, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's the 66 one, right? Yeah. Yeah, that is nice. I really want that. I, You know what that looks like? That looks like the... 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 Um, the one... The, the... What? The one... The 50 scale? Yeah, 150 the 50 scale. scale. The 150 scale that's slammed. With, with um, the white walls, bro, that is nice. Yeah. And it looks like there's like a purple tint over the black. Like a purple pearl. Dude, I would really, I want that, but hell yeah, I want that. Uh, what is it? <laughs> DC, you heard <laughs> Dude's feelings, because I waited until he left. L O L. That's what I said. Oh, yeah, but uh, like that stuff, don't worry, bro. You just design them how you like them, bro. And if you want, if you want to share it with us, share it with us, bro. It's all good, you know. Um, everybody has their own ideas. Everybody has their own style of customizing. I don't even drill mine out. I just paint them. I just paint the cars screwed on. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> That's why sometimes I look and paint on the windshield. <laughs> Uh, I got better at it, though, at least. <laughs> uh, I was just like, man, I got I to gotta unscrew this? This is such a hassle. I don't know, for some reason, I lost patience to do that. <laughs> you know why? Because I'm so excited to see the end product 
I rush. And then when I rush, I screw everything up. So I was like, yeah. You know, you could just mask and tape off the parts you don't want. Paint it. Yeah. But I mean, that okay. you're going to need an X-Acto knife and a yeah. magnifying glass. Because <laughs> 164 is just tiny. That's what I mean, man. That's why I was like, uh, I'll just be careful. <laughs> Well, we're like pushing 145 minutes right now, so I think we yeah, should so this call it we gotta a night. Do. Unfortunately, we got to cut this short because he edits it, so I don't want to give him too much to edit. So, guys, whoever's left, Diecast Clown, it was great meeting you. Thanks for jumping on. We do appreciate it. And he just said, I absolutely love this, guys. Thank you. No, thank you, bro, for, for joining us. And we hope to see you next week. Steven, always a pleasure having you with us, brother. You know, you, you, you boss three, bro. So, you know what? Always good having you, brother. Uh, and whoever else is on, I don't know who else is left. I think Evan and uh, Kelly fell asleep. But um, <laughs> I'd like to thank everybody. We'll be back again next week around 9 or 10-ish. So, Diecast Clown, if you can adjust your body and if your body clock and show up next week, it'd be great. So, on behalf of both of us, we are out of here. Aloha. Good night.